Welcome to FS17 Fire Rescue on the KST map. Today we will be responding to a variety of calls. We will be making our way over to the brand new airport fire department here in our 2017 Ford F-250 Chief Truck. We'll first be staffing the new station for a bit and then we'll be switching over to the main station, which gets the majority of the calls here in the town. Recently we did do an upgraded video here for the series getting this new station and also a variety of new equipment for the other stations and today we will be getting to use all of it this will be our first day staffing the new airport station as well which is pretty exciting uh, featuring the airport fire vehicles including the special uh, fire vehicles and also that new station so we'll head over there for a bit then we'll be transferring over there now we are here in the 2017 f-250 power stroke this is a great chief truck but i am looking into getting a second vehicle here for the series if you do any cool feedback let me know down below here in the comments maybe an SUV maybe like a Mustang or even I uh, get one of those and then put some LED lights on it as like a POV vehicle so if you do any cool feedback please let me know down below in the comments or even get another pickup truck and uh, add some extra lights in a few areas and do things like that so if you do have any cool feedback let me know and we could even do a modding video adding lights to a vehicle if we do want that i hope all of you guys are having a great day today let me know how it is down below here in the comments my day is going good so far and I hope yours is too and i hope all of you guys are having a great school year so far school is a lot of fun you do learn quite a bit and then you get to uh, relax and watch some pretty cool videos and i really do enjoy uploading every single day to youtube you guys make it possible and and it's a lot of fun in general to make a variety of videos here, especially in Farming Simulator uh, 17. So we are just about to arrive here at the airport, and you guys can see, it uh, looks like the gate is open, so we got to close that once we get it on the inside. It looks like someone might have forgotten to close it, and uh, the truck barely clears it. This sometimes happens, and that's okay. So we'll come over here and see if we could close it. It looks like it's closed. That's awesome. So here is our brand new station over here. I do apologize for the lag. We do get quite a bit of it on the KST map, and I'm not sure exactly why. And it, I don't think it's these vehicles as well, because I get the lag even with uh, in-game equipment. So we'll park up our F-250 right over here and take a look at this, guys. While we are here at this station, we'll open up all these doors. That way we can see it, and you guys can see there's quite a bit of lag. Hopefully, uh, we could get that worked out here, but here we have engine one, we have engine two, and then you guys can see we have two F-550s, and these are awesome vehicles. So we'll wait around here for a call. We might get one, we might not, and we'll see what happens. A call is coming in now of a plane engine on fire at the taxiway. We'll hop here in this and we'll be making our way over there. We'll get our lights on and we'll cruise over there now. It should be over here to the uh, left hand side and we can see it over there. We got to get there as quick as we can. And these are some awesome, awesome vehicles. This is our first time coming over here to a call like this. And they said it is the left engine, which it is. And everybody was able to get off that was on it. It was a pretty empty flight though and they were just trying to leave so we'll get the hose out and let's get going here now usually you wouldn't put water here on planes as well you do use a special mixture I believe and uh, let me know down below in the comments what do you exactly put here on planes that way I could look into it and see if we could uh, kind of improve on the realism here with this but you guys can see this engine is on fire and it looks like it's completely stopped it's a two propeller and this just uh, completely something must have went wrong or a spark could have caused it something like that but we have to keep at this fire here uh, and prevent it from spreading and then damaging the entire uh, airplane. But it looks like uh, this entire engine is going to be a total loss. We'll have to keep at this fire and do it as quick and safe as we can to get the airport back up and running. After quite a long time, we were able to get this far out, which is nice. We'll come back over here, put the hose away, and that will be it here for this call. Now, if you do have any cool feedback to help improve our airport fire department for realism purposes, please let me know down below here in the comments. Now, one thing I will be doing for this uh, airport department is we'll keep our lights on until we get back to the station. I think that's the safest thing because, I mean, we have planes coming in and out. We got helicopters. We got so many different things going around here. You got the luggage carriers you got the trucks with the stairs on the back for those private planes and just so many things so it's good that we keep these on to keep everybody aware of us and the airport does usually uh, kind of close operation 
and uh, nobody can come in and out until we get it resolved here on the ground. Looks like we almost got caught there on the, uh, looks like it is part of the door that we kind of got the collision on. Sometimes that happens, but these are some pretty cool vehicles. These were released by Wood Metal Farming. All of the public mods will be linked down below here in the comments. Now that will be it here for this airport department. We'll kind of go over now to the main station. That way we could get some calls over there. I really do like fe featuring a variety of stations. Hopefully we could get a few extra people here in game to help out and that would be awesome to get some extra people. But if you do have any cool feedback for this series, please let me know down below here in the comments i really do enjoy this uh series it's a lot of fun responding to fires and anything like that in fs uh 17 let's get the gate closed always want to make sure it's locked up and we'll head over to the main station and this f-250 chief truck is awesome all of the new pickup trucks from ford uh, gm and uh, uh, Ram are awesome trucks that I like all the new designs and hopefully we could get more and more of the newer trucks here in it uh, Farming Slanter and I can't wait for FS19 coming out on November 20th. It's getting closer and closer We are coming by the gas station here to get some diesel looks like all these pumps do offer diesel as well Which is pretty handy uh, some gas stations don't but you guys can see we are fueling up here We definitely do need diesel. We've been running this truck quite a lot and you usually turn the truck off and uh, that was one thing we forgot to do there but next up we'll head over here to the main station and we'll see what kind of calls we get into now this station gets calls every few minutes it's a very big station and it responds to almost uh, all the calls on the town so I mean it's a very uh, busy one but it's a lot of fun to staff and uh, kind of come by here so we'll check both ways for traffic and I am working out on the lag it is pretty uh, interesting uh, what's kind of causing me the lag and I'm trying to get it solved to help improve the video quality but we'll get backed up here in our parking spot we always get the same spot which is pretty funny and then next up we'll come back over here open up the door actually we got to close it keep that heat in it's a little bit chilly today and you guys can see we'll wait around here at the station for our next call we just received a call of an old front loader on fire at one of the local company shops. We'll be heading over there here in Engine Semi. This will be the only truck here for this call. This should be able to handle all of them. We'll get our lights and sirens going. Now this is one of our older engines here, but it should do a great job, and we are doing a little bit on the off-road side, so we definitely don't want to take our newest engine as well, but this uh, will do the same job as that newer one as well, and it already looks like I will have to get the no-collision camera. It looks like I forgot to add that in, and it's actually down this road over here. You guys can see going through a little bit of water, not the best thing, and the clearance is uh, actually pretty good here. That's great. 14 uh, 4 inches clearance which is nice and there's a fire over there wow looks like it's gotten a lot larger than what it uh, appeared to be uh, when they called it in but we'll get the pump going and uh, looks like I just touched the siren there by accident we'll get the hose going and let's come over here we got to put this out as quick as we can now on the newer trucks we could actually kind of turn on the pump sound and it looks like this older one uh, just turns on when we uh, pull out the hose and you guys can see a very old front loader but it's fully engulfed in flames We'll continue to put out this fire. It looks like it started out here at the engine, and it's going to just spread its way throughout the entire loader. You guys can see it is a pretty rustic. You guys can see a lot of paint wear and tear on it, which is pretty cool, though. I definitely like the realism of uh, the wear and tear on this uh, paint-wise and things like that, and we'll have to keep here at the fire. After a little bit of time, we were able to put out this fire here, which is nice. You guys can see Engine 70 looks awesome here with all of its lights and sirens on. And we'll just kind of get backed up here and head back. Now, they have called a tow truck to kind of remove this sense. Uh, that is a total loss there. And I definitely want to find a way to have these vehicles show that they've uh, some damage on them and things like that to help improve it. I turned off all the emergency lights. And you guys can see this is an awesome engine, even though it's a little bit older. It's our oldest vehicle in the fleet. It still does an amazing job, and we definitely have to get this washed after going through all this gravel as well. And hopefully we do get one.
one to two more calls here before we end today's video. In this fire rescue series, I've been trying to feature one every week and a half or two weeks, and a lot of you guys have been really enjoying it as well. I can't wait to see what happens in FS19, possibly with a new fire rescue series if all these mods do get converted over. We'll get all of our lights on. Now, usually, a backing is a bit tricky, but we just have to send our ourselves through these lines here and not doing that bad wow uh, on our first try able to get parked up right away now it is a bit tight here with the mirrors I will have to say and we did do a pretty good job there as well we'll get our uh, lights turned off and we'll wait around here for another call we just received a call of an antique car catching on fire inside of a garage and now the house is catching on fire engine 71 and rescue 70 will be responding over we'll turn on our lights and our sirens as we rush over there we gotta get over there as quickly and as safely as we can to prevent this fire from spreading as well and this will be a bit tricky we got traffic coming in head and usually they will yield for you but here in farming cylinder they don't and that's okay I mean it's a bit tricky uh, kind of doing that traffic but this engine really is awesome this is our newest engine you guys can see this is pretty cool now we actually do have to turn the water pumps on with this which is awesome getting on the air horns there we always do want to uh, come to a stop at uh, intersections just making sure nobody blows through them that would definitely not be a good thing. This one, we do have the right of way there. And we can see the fire there in the distance. Wow, that's already a pretty big fire. So we got to get switched over to the uh, rescue. We'll bring that as well. A lot of you guys request multiple equipment. So we got this here, which is nice. Next up, we'll be switching over here to rescue 70. We'll get this uh, door opened up. We got to get over there as quickly as we can. We'll get all of those on. We'll definitely run two extra sirens here to help out there. And this is an awesome vehicle. It does give many supplies that the engines do not tools wise. We are doing a pretty good job here. We'll drop it down just to one and get on the air horn. The K's T-Map is a very good map here for roleplay purposes like we are doing today. It just works out very nice for us. So many different things that we can do here. Built-in fire calls, everything like that. We'll switch over here to this last uh, siren just to switch it up here for the video. And we've arrived here with both trucks. We'll get to putting out the fire now. We'll hop back here in the engine and we'll get the pump going. You guys can see the pumps going now. Let's get the hose. Let's get it. Let's see if we can go as fast as we can over here to put it out. We can see the old car in there. Wow. It looks like this section of the house will be a total loss. And there's a propane tank over here. That is not good. And that could be another type of uh, material in the inside of that. Hopefully it's not propane or gas. It could be a big water tank. We never know. But we'll have to continue to put out this far. Now this is a massive massive fire so we'll come through here we don't want to come too close because it could collapse on us structurally uh, because the fires do sometimes alter the structure and uh, the safety of it so we'll have to keep at this After quite a long time, the fire is now out, which is nice. Today has been a very long day for us, a very busy one as well for the fire rescue series. We did have our first call at the airport and to here with the main station. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.